Getting rich quick. Sounds like music through your ears, right? Well, here's my story. This year on July, I quit my job Just handed in all my stuff. without having an alternative income stream. I went on vacation with my girlfriend to celebrate this. And a couple months further, I see my bank account going down. There's no money going in, only going out. And I can tell you, this goes pretty fast. So what do you do? You try to find ways to earn money, right? And that's what I did. Before I knew it, I dived into this rabbit hole of making money. Watched almost every video out there. Some were good and some were not that good. But overall, a lot of these gurus somehow gave me the idea that it is pretty easy to earn huge amounts of money. I found 15 websites that you can start using to make easy money from home every single As day. As you can see, this app paid me $140 in the last hour to pretty much do nothing. So these are all relatively easy and they cost $0 to get started. And to be honest, I began to hate this idea of going back to my 9 to 5 job. I mean, it's easy to fall into this rabbit hole of getting rich quick. No matter how old or smart you are, in a way we are all looking for this silver bullet. A bullet that makes you rich with just one shot. And I think that's why these money making videos perform so well on YouTube. It's pretty logical. I mean the costs of living around the globe keeps increasing. Price gouging for major companies is now the biggest factor in the cost of living crisis. The impact of the cost of living crisis, particularly on parts oh, of the world. A new report uh, finds many New Yorkers are struggling to afford basic needs as they deal with the rising cost of housing. And on top of that, our salaries aren't keeping up with inflation which makes it more and more difficult to save and build wealth. So we are all looking for ways to get rich quick. But with so many information out there, how do we separate facts from fiction? Or in other words, what is just bullshit information and what is actual valuable information? Let's find out. And a word of caution, maybe you find out that some of your favorite gurus aren't that honest as you think they are. So I dived into this money-making world until I stumbled upon something very interesting. A type of get-rich-quick scheme called a pyramid scheme. For those who don't know what a pyramid scheme is, let's explain it in a simple way. Imagine a pyramid. To simplify the example, at the top of this pyramid is the founder. And this person recruits other people to join his company by promising them high returns. Now, if you want to join the company and make some big bucks, then the only thing you need to do is pay the founder a fee of, let's say, $100. Once you have paid the fee, you are one of the lucky ones because you now get the ability to recruit other people to join the company as well. The only thing they need to do is pay you $100. So you find two other people and they both pay you $100 and you have now earned $200 but you already gave the founder a hundred dollars to join the company so your net profit is hundred dollars but that's not completely true because the founder wants a cut of this let's say a cut of 20% per recruit so $40 go to the founder and your net profit will be $60 now the people you brought in can do the same thing they invite more people and you get a cut from them too and from that cut, you also give a percentage to the founder. But just like any game, this can't go on forever. Eventually the pyramid collapses and most people at the bottom end lose a lot of money. Now I hear you thinking, no one falls for this, right? Well, let's then go back to 2004. There's this company founded with the name Vima Nutrition. In 2007, they developed this so-called healthy energy drink and gave it the name Verve. And in the coming years, Verve started circulating in college campuses. Because Vima, the company behind Verve, started targeting young adults, especially college students and recent graduates. Only not to buy their products, but to become a member of their company. They promised an amazing chance to make a lot of money with just a little bit of work. And for you too, and guess what? We even have a 26-year-old guy named Brad Alcazin earning over $1 million a year. It's worked for us and it can work for you. But to get started, you only needed to buy a starter pack of five to $600. 
Once you did that, you became a member. And as a member, your main focus was to recruit other members. And when you did that, you received a commission for each member you recruited. So the more members you recruit, the more money you will earn. Guys, if you say what we say and do what we do, you get what we have every single time this birthday is happening and it's happening fast. And Vima, they promised you huge returns. Literally, how cool would it be three years from now to walk in the store and never look at a price tag? Now the company grew quickly. With 30,000 new members each month, they were making tons of money. But there was a problem. A lot of people ended up losing more money than they made. Especially the ones at the bottom of this pyramid. Yes, you heard me right. As you might expect it, Vima was eventually charged with running a pyramid scheme. When we analyzed these Vima sales pitches, you quickly see that they were focused on recruiting people to join the company instead of selling their product. You don't have to be smart to make money. You have to be at the right place at the right time with the right people. When you analyze it even further, they were selling you a dream instead of selling you their product. Because this is about a three to five year plan to where you never have to worry about money ever again. Here you create your own income. You can be 16 and make as much money as you want. You can be 85 and make as much money as you want. Now the same kind of sales pitches we saw in the 90s with these so-called infomercials. We got a new car. Yeah. <laughs> a new car? Wouldn't you like a new car? Your success is up to you. I want to give you the exact same HDAP method that I've used for the last 14 years. Again, trying to sell you a dream. Now, unfortunately, even today, we still see the same kind of get rich quick ads on YouTube. I can tell you how to make money really easy using AI. Just sign up for my course. Right. And also, the crypto market isn't safe for these schemes. Dr. Ruja Ignatiever, as you said, turned up out of nowhere and said, I've got the world's next Bitcoin, the next great cryptocurrency that's going to explode in value, make you all rich. And very quickly, probably as many as a million people around the world invested in this, uh, it turned out to be a, quite a very clever Ponzi pyramid scheme. There was no real cryptocurrency behind it at all. To make it even worse, with the rise of AI, these scams become more and more powerful. Uh, now you've got millions of people trying it out. Some people are using it to try to sell you things that you probably shouldn't buy. Others are trying to use it to get your vote. Uh, others are using it to try to defraud you. But there's this almost superpower arms race now that these tools are out there. So it becomes more important than ever to don't believe everything you hear and see. But how do we recognize real from fake? I mean, I do not think that everyone who sells a course is a coach or make these how to become rich kind of videos is automatically a scammer or a grifter. To be honest, I think there's ton of legitimate people out there. Some of them have really good content and have great advice. But the thing is, you need to be critical with the information you consume. Don't take everything as a truth. I mean, there are ways to earn huge amounts of money quickly, like winning the lottery or when crypto was an absolute gold mine, almost every coin increased in value. But most of the time, there is no easy way to make money. I mean, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. How likely is a, a person who suddenly found a way to make 300% a year when you trying to sell books on the internet to you? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. So here's my system to spot potential get rich quick schemes. As we saw, the characteristics of a get rich quick scheme are almost always the same. You make big profits and you don't need any special skills. In other words, it's easy and you can do it in a short amount of time. If you hear a sales pitch like this, be super cautious. It's a big red flag. Don't fall into this get rich quick selling points. Now here's the smart move to make. If you find something interesting, always do some minor investigation up front. Just search for it online, Google it, look for reviews and check if it is legit. Don't rush into anything without doing a little bit of detective work. And let's say that after your detective work, you find something promising like uh, a great course or something else, then don't expect it to be a magic solution. Sure, it can give you some ideas and some motivation and you probably learn some stuff too. But making a lot of money usually takes time. It takes discipline, consistency and the will to become better every single day. All right, my friends. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and some final words of wisdom. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.